We know what orcas like to eat, Chinook salmon. So why can't we just feed the whales that? Let's verify. This is actually the second orca to be born in less than a month. Thanks to the two baby orcas born in September, there are now 74 whales in the J, K, and L pods here in our Puget Sound waters. But according to the Center for Whale Research on San Juan Island, that's still 23 fewer whales than their recent peak in the mid-90s, and orcas are very much still an endangered species. One reason the southern resident killer whales struggle to survive is a lack of food supply. Chinook salmon make up at least 80% of their diet, but they're a protected species as well. According to NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the amount of Chinook salmon in our local waters has drastically declined over the last 35 years. But there are other kinds of salmon. Why not just take the Chinook salmon we do have and drop some of them in front of the starving orcas? We asked Lynn Berry, NOAA's recovery coordinator for the southern resident killer whales. There's a real risk to the animals to, to putting food in the water in front of them, to associating people with food, to making them less wary of people and boats, and also it, it increases the risk for things like boat strikes, or they could become dependent on human provided food. Barry says another big problem for the orcas is their own popularity. When whale watchers or any boats come too close, they directly impact one of the orcas' most important characteristics. They're very acoustic animals, so vessels and sound can interfere with their communication and echolocation, the sonar they use to find their food. Barry says, unfortunately, there is no simple, quick fix. Saving the orcas will be a decades-long, multifaceted approach that restores salmon runs, controls boat traffic, and more. We can verify, no, humans cannot simply dump fish in the sea and expect the orcas to survive. With your Verify, I'm Steve Bunin.